Hello, welcome to Tape Measure Pencil Knife. Today, on Tape Measure Pencil Knife, we're doing a geometric accent wall. What's a geometric accent wall? First of all, you know what it is. You saw the thumbnail. Second, I drew you this picture. It's geometric shapes and lines. Lots of strips going on 45 degree angles and then perpendicular to those angles on other 45 degree angles and then parallel with each other horizontally with more 45 degree angles. First, I wanna make a border. My strips are an inch and a half, so I'm gonna make an inch and a half on each side in the corners, and then inch and a half on top underneath the crown molding. And the crown molding sits roughly three and three quarters, so I'm going to make the top five and a quarter, leaving an inch and a half below the crown molding. The baseboard in this house is a one by six, so we're just gonna leave that the way it is. It doesn't need to be an inch and a half. It could just be the baseboard. You can see it's already, that's the baseboard down there. It's a one by six. It's, it'll be perfect for budding all these one and a half inch strips coming down, sitting right into the baseboard. I got a lot of one by fours. That's what I'm gonna make my inch and a half strips out of. I'm gonna run them on a table saw. I get two out of each one because the one by four is actually three and a half. So you get two inch and a half strips out of one one by four. So do the math yourself on how many one by fours you'll need. If you don't have a table saw, you could buy these little strips at your Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Maybe, I don't know. I might've made that up. So let's get our one by fours, rip them down, install the border, and then start adding strips randomly until we have this. Geometric accent wall. I'm gonna do these first, and then I'm gonna do these, and then these. This is my first time also. I've never done this, so we're kind of gonna learn together. I've always wanted to, but most people just choose something symmetrical and safe for resale, but Every once in a while, you find a unicorn that wants to do a one of one, one of a kind. And that's what we're doing today. A one of a kind geometric accent wall. That's enough explanations. Just watch and you'll see how to do it. Ready? You know what this means. Oh.
That's it. That's all there is to it. Not sure if I explained it well enough for you to really get it, but maybe you're a visual learner like me and you saw how I did it. This one was fairly easy. 45 degree cuts, zero degree cuts. And I put a little bevel on it, maybe two degrees to make sure the face touches. Just a tiny angle on the bevel, make sure the face is nice and smooth in the end. But that's it, that's all there is to it. I'm going to add the crown mold now before I do the final reveal. So stick around for that. I'll put the crown mold up and then get some good shots. And good luck on your geometric accent wall. I hope you make one similar to this one. And if you do, send me a picture on Instagram or something. You'll, you'll figure it out. Email, email me something. Okay, that's it for this video. From all of us here at Tape Measure Pencil Knife, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time where we might build something different. I don't know. Yeah, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm back in that. Hey, where you going? Hey, 